Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please go ahead and hit subscribe. We'd love for you to join the Glam Slam family. But today we're going to go ahead and unbox my Sephora Play box for the month of October. I'm pretty excited about this box. I've seen that there might be a foundation in here. So I'm pretty excited about that. This is the bag this month. And it is, says public display of complexion. So I'm guessing these are going to be skincare and maybe foundation related products. Let's hope so at least. Oh, and don't forget every month you get a little Sephora play card where you get $50 in bonus points, hundred dollars in bonus points, get you a free sample with a Sephora play order. They also include this little pamphlet that tells you all about your products each month, but it does not include the prices just so you know. All right. So I filled two big items. So we're gonna start with those. The first one is Bye Bye Under Eye. This is a repeat product for me. I received this in another subscription bag. I'm not sure if it was this one or Ipsy. It might've been Ipsy, but this product is fantastic. I love it. When I got my last sample, I went and bought the full size for I think $24 and it's definitely worth it. A teeny tiny bit of this goes a long way. I just put the smallest dab on the tip of my finger and then I dab my fingers together because it is a very thick cream. And then I just kind of like pat it on my eyes. I'm telling you, it'll last forever. If you, if you get this sample, this will probably last you three, four months if you use it every single day. Next we have something from Urban Decay, which I'm very excited about. I love Urban Decay. And this is a hydrating product. So it is a complexion priming booster. So this is what it looks like here. Let's go ahead and give it a spritz so we can smell it. Okay, it definitely has coconut water in it. Since I'm not familiar with this product, we're gonna refer to the pamphlet. And it says that it is a pore mineralizing primer infused with coconut water for a mega hydration and it will soften your skin. So this would be great to use on your face prior to applying makeup. All right, the next item we have is a foundation and this is an HD foundation from Makeup Forever. So I'm really excited about this. Let's go ahead and put a little bit on my hand here and we'll rub it in. I think the color is a pretty good match. It's a little warmer than my hand, but on my face it should work pretty well. So I'm excited to give this a try. I've never tried this before. So maybe we'll do a first impressions video with this and um, do an all day wear test on this foundation. Next we have a Sephora micellar water. This is a triple action cleansing water. So all you do is put a little bit of this on a cotton swab or a little pad and you put those on your eyes, let it sit for like 30 seconds and then wipe. And I'm telling you, it will take everything off. And this is a no rinse, which I very much appreciate. The next item we have here is from CEO and this is a rapid brightening serum. Um, I'm sorry, this is from Sunday Riley. It is a CEO. Um, and this is a vitamin C serum that brightens and smooths the skin while hydrating. So let's go ahead and smell this. This has got a nice, fresh, cool citrus smell. So this is really great for those mornings that you're feeling a little groggy and not really ready to get going for the day. The soft citrus smell will kind of brighten your senses and make you feel a little bit more awake. And then this month, our perfume sample is Gucci. Woo! I'm really excited about this. I don't think I've ever had a Gucci perfume before, but this is called Gucci Bloom. And this is what the full size bottle would look like. Let's go ahead and give it a spritz. Mm. Okay, if you do not like floral, you will not like this, but that's to be assumed, it's called a Bloom. It literally smells like someone just delivered a bouquet of beautiful flowers to your office. Mm, that is a really nice fragrance. It is a little bit of a heavier fragrance. I would go light handed on spraying this on myself um, just so I don't overpower other people. But well, that was everything that I got in my Sephora play box this month. I think it was really good. I mean, I have to give two thumbs up to Sephora this month because I think this box was a great. I love that they followed through with the theme. You know, we got a moisturizer. We got a, 
you know, priming spray, the foundation, a concealer, and then something to remove it. So really everything was related to complexion. So that is refreshing because a lot of times you get these themed boxes and I don't feel like really the products go with the theme. So this month they did. So again, two thumbs up. And if you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and leave a comment below. Let me know what you think was the best product in this bag this month. I'm just always curious to know what you guys, you know, what you guys thought was the best. Well, thank you guys for hanging out with me and I hope that you have a beautiful, fantastic and fabulous day. And until next time, bye y'all.